Kim here. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, some of you may know if you've been watching my videos that I'm kind of on this middle grade reading journey because I, you know, like I've said a thousand times, uh, this year's goal is to write a middle grade book. And so I've been reading a ton of middle grade books to kind of get in the zone, see the age range I want to target, that kind of thing, and just kind of see what kids are liking and yada, yada, yada. So that being said, um, I've been reading a ton of middle grade books and I thought that I would do a Friday Reads for you guys so you could... It's just been a while since I've done a Friday Reads video and I like them and I'm going to do one and this is what I'm going to be reading this weekend. Afternoon of the Elves by Janet Taylor Liesel. 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 Man, I'm bad at those author names. Afternoon of the Elves, it is a Newbery Honor Award, which means, you know, it's awarded for great literature for kids. And yeah, it's about a girl that finds a wee little village made of sticks and twigs and leaves and things in her front yard one day, and it turns out to be a little village of elves. Um, and that sounds delightful. It's very quick, uh, shouldn't take me that long to get through it. This is a much older one, you know, it's not like a big popular one that's out right now and things like that, so. Which I really like because they're kind of like these blasts from the past for me because this probably would have come out when I was actually a kid and which is nice and anyways, so you know, it's nice to kind of see what else is out there besides the popular stuff, which is kind of, I think the other books I have are a little more like well-known. I'm excited to just kind of read this charming little story that I think will be lovely and adorable. I am kind of expecting just like that pretty magic kind of feel that I like. So yeah, uh, Afternoon of the Elves by Janet Taylor Weasel. After that, I'm hoping to pick up from the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweller by E.L. Konigsberg. This is literally a book I had as a kid. I never read it as a kid, which is kind of funny, but anyway, it's about kids that like run away from home and live in a museum, I think. that That's the gist of what I got from it. That, I, that's all I know, and I'm not even sure if that's right. I'm going into it real blind. Um, I think it's also a Newbery Award winner. Newbery Award winning classics is where I don't know where go. So, which is cool, and I know this one's fairly popular. I've heard about it. Uh, in several different places and things, and so I am looking forward to just like a classic, so to speak, from the mixed up files of Mrs. Basil E. Frankweller. If I get through both of those, which I should, uh, because they're both uh, simply written because they're for kids and they're real short, um, but after that, I am bravely going to reread Percy Jackson, The Olympians, The Lightning Thief. Uh, by Rick Riordan and I read this book many years ago and didn't love it like I thought it was fine it was fine um, but a lot of people really love it and it's very very popular with the age range that it's targeted at so we're gonna read it again I also have this second book that I found at a thrift store some years ago so we're gonna read this one if I still think it's only okay we're gonna read the second book in the series and then go from there if we're gonna continue it or not I heard the other stuff by Rick Riordan kind of gets better, like his other series, and so I do want to tackle those as well, but I have this one, and I kind of want to just, you know. If you don't know, it's about a kid named Percy Jackson who turns out to be a demigod. His father is Poseidon, right? Yeah? He ends up going to a, a camp, like a summer camp, for kids that are, like, children of gods. Like, they're demigods as well, and, you know, so they have kind of abilities and things like that, and of course, hijinks and adventure ensue because that's how it is. I may like it more because I'm approaching it from, I mean, not the perspective of a kid because I can't have the perspective of a kid, I'm a grown up. But I'm approaching it with the idea of a kid in mind and like what kids like and what kids find captivating and entertaining. Percy Jackson and the Olympians, The Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. Those are the things I'm gonna be reading this weekend. Hopefully I can finish all three. We'll see, it's po totally possible. But, uh, okay, I know I can get two out of three down. I don't know if I'll get all the way through with The Lightning Thief, but we'll see. Let me know in the comments uh, if you've read these, if you've loved them, if you've hated them as usual. I wanna know um, all your thoughts and feelings on these things. And what you're reading this weekend, you got anything good on the docket that you're particularly excited about? I wanna know. That's going to wrap it up for me. I hope everyone has a super great weekend. Stay safe out there and happy reading. And we will see you later. Kind of funny about this book. It has my name written on it, which is funny because this is actually a book from when I was a kid. My grandma 
had this habit of writing my name on everything I owned. So anything that I have from my childhood probably has my last name written on it somewhere. So it's kind of funny because 